When I race against Dario, um, I know he's a very uh, sleeky man, sleeky driver. He studies, studs you around, make sure that, uh, uh, you know, find the weakness areas and then BAM! He's, uh, yeah, he's just a legend and he's super cool about it, you know, he's just a um, really, really good guy. Very consistent and methodical race car driver. Calculates, he calculates every move. Dario is um, one of my idols. Yeah, right. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt and he's uber cool about it. Kind of admire that. He's very, uh, very good in hiding his game. And when the time's to go, he really goes. You heard it here first. He's lazy, doesn't like to test. It doesn't wake up early. The, the whole season, not just at the track, but testing, you know, the, the constant fitness stuff, all these different things that when I do get away, you know, I, I, Ashley and I went away in December and just went away for, for two weeks and just really did nothing. Went out walking and just didn't have any time I had to get up in the morning or, you know, and, and, and that was that was pretty nice. Race weekends in particular, like a lot of time we just go back to the bus, if, if I've got the bus at a race and I think, Think about what I, the session before, what I did wrong, the session after, what I'm going to have to do to improve, why I need to fix the car, and just clear my mind. I like, I like a lot of time on my own. Dario is kind of cool, you know. Dario is like the serious type guy, you know, like, you know, high profile race car driver, accomplished amazing things, you know, in, in IndyCar, won three championship. Um, but you know, like, just kind of simple too, you know, like. Uh, I see him with his hold at all ripped off, you know, old t-shirt, jeans, kind of like relax. And um, uh, I think I like his personality because of that. It's just, um, you know, the way he is in normal life, it, you know, it's so uh, laid back compared to the personality that he has behind the wheel and, and also uh, in racing. I took up sailing. A friend of mine's got a boat, he sailed since he was a kid and we, I, just when the whole NASCAR thing went upside down and he said, you know, we need a weekend away, let's all go sailing. So my bunch of my friends who all come to Indianapolis every year for the 500 and I, we all went sailing in our, our friend's boat and I'm now pretty much addicted to it and um, any chance I get in the summertime, I'm straight back to Scotland and, and we do some, some small races. I have a good fun with him on the track, off the track. I watch a lot of movies on the bus. <clears throat> and I'll watch the same movie a hundred times, you know, whether it's a James Bond film or like a Happy Gilmore or one of those kind of stupid comedies. I'll, I'll watch, just keep watching them. Obviously he's a real gentleman, as everybody knows, and uh, he's a superstar in Indy Car Series, and uh, he's a tough guy on the track, and um, we tried to compete very high level. Unfortunately, we had a little tangled last year, but uh, there you go, you know, I, I really love to come, come back again and uh, do the very competitive race with him. Dario, man, tough competitor, very consistent, bloody hard guy to beat. You know, he's a four-time champion and the guy that's prevented me from winning the last two championships. So, uh, you know, I think he's a great guy off the track, very good personality, he's got a great heart. and I want to beat him. Dario is, is a living legend and it's, it's a weird thing to say. It's weird to realize that you're racing against him every week because 20 years from now, you're going to look back and, and people are going to say, wow, he raced against Dario. I mean, he's at that level. And he's just, he's Mr. He's Mr. Consistent, he's always there. You know, when he has a third place car, he takes third place and he collects those points. He doesn't crash going for second. He just, he makes no mistakes, but if something happens to him, he recovers. Like Brazil last year, he crashes in the first corner, hits the tire wall, guy finished fourth. You know, I, I didn't spin, I didn't hit, had to have a single runoff, you know, in the rain there in Brazil. I finished ninth, I'm, I don't get how this happens, you know? And it, it's just how he does it year after year. That's why he's the guy when it's all said and done and you know all the chips are on the table, he's the guy that takes it because he's just always there.